Sure. Whatever you do, don't mess it up, Andy. I'll mess things up. Alright, ready? Oh, yep. I don't know why I'm asking. Oh, shit! <laughs> Welcome to Texas Beard Adventures. I'm Brad Harrell, your host, and today we're at Andy's house. What's up, guys? Also, my shop. Oh, well, but yeah. The house is here, too. Yes, the house is over there. The shop is behind me. We are airstreaming today, folks. It's going to be a good day. We're going to be running some propane lines. Got all the materials over there. We're going to be running exposed lines, penetrating through the floor to be able to feed this thing. We heat it, we gotta heat water, we gotta cook food, and my fridge might run on propane. I don't know yet. We can get 12 volt fridges, but yeah, I'm, we're gonna run propane to it just in case. So, the option just in case. Yeah. So, I did come over here um, a month ago or so, right? So, this is yeah. yeah, I mean, in a month, I, if you a month ago, if I would have told you I'd already had the shell on and be building out the interior, but here we are. <laughs> Not much well, I was I was over here a month ago working on helping Andy weld um, cross members and he's done a good job. It's taken a little bit longer than he expected. I think that's the case with anything. It yeah. is. It everything takes longer than you expect. That's true. Well, and I had a lag too because waiting on the, the black thing. Yeah. It was delayed. So. Yeah, it's not all his fault. Just 90 percent. I went ahead and covered up all the plumbing before you got here, so you didn't have to look at that. I was hoping to be able to see <laughs> some of that. What the heck? All right, so what we have decided to do is put our T right over there in the middle, and we're gonna we're gonna come into it in the middle, and then go out on each end. Before we had it turned, and it was all Andy's idea, so I blame him for that. I'm just kidding. And then um, <clears throat> we're gonna reuse this 90 right here. We're gonna get a piece, I took the nut off, and we're gonna get a measurement from here to there, and that'll be our cut piece, and then we will put nuts on it and flare both ends. This is where you gotta get technical, because if you miscalculate, just wasted a piece of copper. All right, hold me right there on the end, Andy. Yep. Right. No, 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 the end of the fitting, gotcha. right there, gotcha. yeah, exactly. All right, we got 77 and a half. 77 and a half, that's our cut piece, okay. Always want to make sure to ream the end of your copper so that way you take that burr off before you flare it. So the reason why you use a flare tool and a nut on propane lines is because propane has such a high pressure that a compression nut and ferrule could blow apart. And then, of course, you got propane leaking everywhere, right? So with a flare, so there's like the a mechanical... A flare does not allow this to come off. Yeah. So this would have to completely break off of what it's screwed onto to come apart. Yeah, yeah makes sense. Even if you have a leak, it won't be like, like a, like a yeah. yeah, like just crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. blowing out pressure, right? It'll be a small, very small, minute leak. Yeah. So with your channel named Texas Beard Adventures, you, you're pretty much committed to a beard for the rest of your life now, right? That's, that's what my wife said. She goes, <laughs> why couldn't it be called Texas Mustache Adventures <laughs> or Texas Goatee well, Adventures? Well, does she prefer a mustache over the beard? She prefers a goatee. Yeah. She's not crazy about the beard. Uh, what does she know? Yeah. Don't listen to her. Just wife. kidding, honey. I love you. <laughs> All right. We are set up, ready to go. Trust the ankle right there. All right. There it is, folks. There's the flared end. All good to go. All right, so Andy is going to... Let's see. So Andy's going to fasten down this piece in the middle and I am going to flare the piece of copper over here so that way it's ready to bend across there for the refrigerator. So we're gonna kind of split up to be able to make things go faster. Did you 
Stop making so much noise. I'm trying to work over here. Is it? Yeah. No, it's all right. Good? Good. Hold, hold, see if you can hold that. clamp right here yep. we'll put the valve right here okay so we're going to cut it right over here put a valve and then that way we can pick it up after the valve after he's got this flipped over and that on top so we're having some issues getting this other nut on to flare it but i need to go he needs to go get with his family so i can get with my family so we'll see you next time. Next when time. Is next time. Whenever. A couple days, maybe. Yeah. Next week. Not sure. Yeah. Well, we're back at Andy's. Say hello, Andy. Hello. Back at it. Back at it. Um, we are going Where to. Did we leave it? We we're gonna. We're gonna finish. And today, I'm here a lot sooner than I was last time, so our wives won't be upset. <laughs> With us. It won't be 637 when we shut it down. Yeah, that was that was not good. Now remember folks, I am a professional. I've always wanted to say that on camera. Feels good. Don't try this at home. So that how many pounds of course put on that? That was uh, <laughs> uh hey it, is the gym over that way or is it over that way? Uh, yeah, that's about that many pounds. Oh, there you go. You got it. And then slide that over. Make sure that the, the cone is right in the middle of the pipe. Yep. Okay. That's good. All right. Let me hold it with the channel locks. Feel good about it? Do you feel good? I feel good, man. Okay. I think I, I think it works. I can see why they went to uh, like fittings now. Yeah. Doing that every time we get old. Yes. Just work. slide that. Oh shoot, man. <laughs> Andy's over here breaking my I have no breaking idea. my great great grandfather's tool. <laughs> Figure that out. <laughs> oh, I just didn't pull that out. Yeah. <laughs> See many moving parts to this, man. You think I'd never use the tool? Before. So what I'm doing here is I took the old nipple out, putting this adapter in there from iron pipe to flare, and then we're gonna screw that in over there at the end where the tanks go. Let me make sure you're getting an exact match. The other side. <laughs> yes. Hey, you know what my buddy tells me that's the mechanic? What? You get what you pay for. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pay for any of this. I, exactly right. <laughs> that's my point. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it. See, folks, if he wasn't such a good athlete, oh, he would have fallen. Dude, first, first all team, actually, I think it was second all team varsity and soccer back in the days. Back in the day. Wish I was back in 1987. Oh, I could throw man. that football over that mountain. <laughs> <laughs> How much you want to make a bet I can throw a football over the mountains? Yeah, coach would have put me in fourth quarter. 
we'd have been state champions, no doubt. Boy, the Napoleon Dynamite. The Napoleon Dynamite. That's such good movie. It is. Whatever you do, don't mess it up, Andy. Don't mess things up. That's got to be some nerve-wracking stuff, because you deal with, like, 30 seconds in woodworking and whatnot. Let me get my channel up. Yeah, the tolerances are a little... Man, I go to the closest eighth yeah. or quarter most of the time. Hey! Why are you kicking stuff? What did I do? Yep. Oh, oh shh! What's not on there? What's not on there? Oh, the nut. Dude, why did you let me do that? We just had our first. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, man. Andy didn't put the nut on. Hey, this was on there when I came up here to do it. So That's okay. true. It's actually my fault. All right, so Brad's doing this one. Yeah. Did you put the nut on there? The nut is on. There it is. I don't forget things like yeah. that. What did I say earlier? I am a professional. Don't try this at hand. You probably swing a hammer better than I do, though. Let's see, just tighten this nut up here. Okay. I think we're ready to test. I mean, when I look at this, it just looks cool. Like these are. So what's going to happen is these are going to help it. I think take we should like, the thrusters. <laughs> we just built a uh, rocket ship. That's correct. We've got everything ready to go. We've got the valve over here. We've got the valve over there. We've got the gauge up front. Andy's going to go get a line from inside the shop, and we're going to give this thing a little air. We will also soap the joints after it's got pressure on it and um, see if we get any bubbles. So this is our tattletale here, right? And that'll tell us, after we get the pressure set to where we want it, we'll set this red tattletale on it and it will tell us if it's dropping okay. at all, okay? So there's no regulator on this, so it's going to use whatever pressure is coming from the compressor, right? I'm going to regulate it with this valve. Okay. I'm going to turn it on and off there. So we don't want to go too much pressure because this gauge won't handle. No, 25 is inches of mercury. Okay. PSI rings on the other side. PSI is on the inside, so yeah, this sure. gauge only goes up to 15. Then what we'll do, put this on right on top of it. Okay. And then I'll go get the soap from the truck. Okay. We'll start soaping some joints to see what we got. All right. All right, so what we got here is we got some good old Dawn soap. We got our, this is Kirkland brand, but it doesn't really matter. We're gonna put a little bit of this in here because this tumped over in my truck oh, and it emptied a bunch of the soapy water I had in there. That's all it is, is just soap and water, but it makes bubbles. So that's how you check for leaks. I was like the pressure drop. See, that's why you it's check. It's your rig, man. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, I didn't say I was a good plumber. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then what we're gonna do? Leaking right there. If you yep, see that. yep, yep. All right. Two. Oh, more leaks. We got this one back here that just started. So we're gonna have to tighten that up. I wonder if that's from lifting it up. Yeah, well, I don't think it was from lifting it up. I think it's it, a little tighter. Just, just getting it. Man, that's so that uh, the bubble that really works pretty good. Yeah. Just don't tell anybody my secret, yeah. okay? This video is sponsored by Don. <laughs> you wanna wash your dishes? <laughs> Get you some dish soap. Darn dish soap only. When I got dirty dishes, only soap I use. 
<laughs> we should actually send this to Don. Right? Yeah, right? It's not only good for washing your coffee cups and everything, folks. So we have the gauge on. We're going to leave it aired up for, I don't know, a day or two. And um, soap tested everything. Everything's good. Um, Should work. Yeah. Work. Are you happy with it, Andy? I'm happy, man. I appreciate that. Good, because if you weren't, I don't know what I would do with myself. It's the taillight warranty, man. I I just love that warranty so much because I don't feel guilty about it at all. You don't need to, man. Mm -mm. But um, I know I've got a small channel, but do me a solid. Go subscribe to Andy. I'll put the link to his channel in the description below. Um, he can use all the help he can get, just like all of us. Yeah. Share the love. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Check me out on Instagram at Texas Beard Adventures. Me and the wife of the kitties do all kinds of crazy stuff over there. And I'll catch you on the flip side. You dang hillbillies. I was just kidding, man. I never done this before. Chicken, my chicken got loose. Hey, have you seen my chicken? Is that it? Do you know? Dude, what does that mean? Salt, pepper, garlic? Nobody knows what it means, but it's provocative and it gets the people going.